Hello, hello to all of my beautiful subscribers. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you are welcome to do so. I really do appreciate the love and support, the likes, shares, and comments. So, we're going to get some messages from Spirit, okay? So, only take the message if it resonates. This will be a collective read, a collective message. Um, if this message doesn't res resonate with you, I do also have other content that may resonate with you. So, you can go check that out, okay? Spirit guys, answers to the highest white light. What messages do you have for the collective? And as I open myself up, the channel is the messages for the collective. I need to protect me at this time, please. And thank you. Okay, so someone is definitely going through some, some chaos and conflict right now. Okay, it could be an altercation happening right now, or is is going to happen with the butt and heads. We got fighting. Okay, so fighting, getting into arguments. Someone is in conflict, passive aggressive, sabotage. So someone is definitely sabotaging a situation right now. Okay, it could be a lot of spits and specs going on around this person, or it could be around you guys. Okay, so take that message where it resonates. Someone could also want to get in an argument with you or start an argument with you. Okay, so be mindful. We have glowed up that came out of physical and mental transformation for the better, looking at yourself in the mirror and making a change, okay? So you guys are definitely going through a transformation mentally, physically, spiritually, as well as emotionally, okay? You guys are making the necessary changes in your life to continue on your journey, your path, okay? Give me more for So we have... Homebreaker, let it go, and shady. Okay. So someone isn't respecting your boundaries because you chose to let go from a situation or relationship. Or this could be someone external to you is trying to, like, let go something that no longer serves them. Okay, but it's a lot of arguing going on within the situation. Okay, this person is trying to grow past this situation is what I'm getting. But someone is just still holding on to them. Okay? So it's like this person is trying to get out of a situation, but they're still being held on to. Because you see how the girl got her hands tied to this person? Okay? So this person is trying to get out of something. Okay? Then we have Shady giving the impression of dishonesty, questionable, suspicious, untrustworthy. Okay? So it could be a lot of accusations going on around this situation, or someone could just feel like. <clears throat> That someone is being fake, okay. So someone is definitely being freak. Oh, I said freak, fake around a situation, okay. And spirit is asking them to let go that person, place, or thing. Or this could be you, okay. Let's see. Let's get one more spirit. So we had cheater that came out sleeping around while having a partner, not playing fair, unfaithful, non-committal. So someone could have found out that someone was cheating on them, okay? And this person wants to let go. This person is not trying to let them go. Okay, so it's a lot of fights, competition. It's a lot of fights and arguments going on around this situation, okay? And I hope you This person definitely could have been cheating to with up to five people because it's like five different females on these calls. So we got the three of wands that's waiting for shipments to come in, waiting, okay, um, could also be traveling from a distance or relocating somewhere far, okay, or someone wanting to travel and come towards you, okay, this person could live over a body of water, give me more on this three of wands, so someone could have traveled to see someone, travel to do something, okay, yeah, we have the lovers, okay, so someone wants to travel to you, okay, we got the world and judgment at the bottom of the deck. So something is co so something is closed out. Something came to an end. Okay, so someone called judgment on the situation could be a lovers. But that's why this person wants to move away from them. Give me more spirit. It could be a Leo. We got the strength card. Okay. We got Gemini and we have Leo energy. Okay, we got the lovers and the strength. This person been holding on for their love to you, and now this person is wants to confess it, is what I'm getting. Okay? So, if this person could have 
did this to you, cheated on you, okay, you let them go. Now this person wants to come towards you and confess they love to you. Yeah, ten of swords, okay, it could have been a betrayal, okay, an ending within your relationship, the star card, okay, Aquarius energy. So this person definitely wants to heal, okay, and this person definitely see you glowed up, that's that star energy, okay. So maybe this person wants to get out of this uh, sabotaging defeatful energy energy that they're in, okay? So I'm just going to keep these cards. What's the three of wands for it? Clarify the three of wands. Clarify the three of wands, please. Clarify the three of wands. Okay, so we got the four of pentacles. So... Someone probably been, I heard brace, okay, so someone could have been bracing their self to come towards you or trying to make this effort to come towards you, okay, because it could be a lot of competition, chaos, and conflict surrounding this person if they do travel towards you. So they're trying to brace their self, they're holding their self back with this penalty to travel or come towards you. Give me more on this, yeah, the hangman. So this person is like at a standstill position, they're at a, a stop right now. Okay, so they're bracing themselves. Once again, what Spirit was saying, this person is at a halt. Okay? So whatever traveling or movement this person is trying to make, they're at a standstill right now. Give me more for the story of Wands. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Okay, it could be like very um, frustrating to this person. It could be like making this person very eager is what I heard Spirit say. So this person is eager to rush it towards you, but they're holding themselves back there at a standstill. Okay? Give me one of these three of wands, for your please, and thank you. Give me more for the three of wands, please. Thank you. Yeah, the food card. Yeah, this person wants to take this leap of faith. Okay, this person wants a brand new beginning. This person wants to start over. This person wants to start brand new. Okay? And they're going to take the action towards to do so with the Knight of Swords, okay? But they don't want to do it impulsively. So this person is trying to, like, keep their composure or try to, like, this person is restraining their self, okay? They're, they're, they're restraining their self. Six is four, yeah, this person wants to make a move. They want to come to calmer waters. We got the devil at the bottom of the deck with the eight of pentacles, okay? So this person could be obsessively watching you at work or, or obsessively um, just doing a lot of paying attention to you while you're working, okay? The king of pentacles, page of wands, eight of pentacles, and the devil. So this person is very obsessed with you. Okay, and the way that you work, this person is obsessed about working with you. Okay, and they want to reach out at that page of wands, energy, and communication. The devil energy, Capricorn energy is still at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this person definitely wants to come to smoother, calmer waters with you. Okay, they want to restart this. Okay, <clears throat> and it's like this person wants to it's like this person go to rush in for the kill and then they stop slow down they like restrain themselves okay they put they so at a halt it's like they pause their self <clears throat> let's get one more card for the three of wands for one more card for the three of wands please and thank you for the collective one more oh that's two okay child moment at the bottom of the day somebody having a revelation or epiphany Okay, one more card for the three of wands, for the three of wands. Too many. <laughs> Just one card, Spirit, for the three of wands, please. One more card, thank you. Yeah, eight of cups, okay? So this person is walking away. So this person is definitely... It's like this person is going to stand on making this move towards you. But right now, they got a standstill. They're, they're restraining themselves to come towards you. Four pinnacles in the hangman. Like, they're holding themselves back from uh, making an impulsive move is what I'm hearing Spirit say. Because this person wants to start over. The food car, okay? Have a brand new beginning. Okay? Take a risk. And coming towards you, whether this person is coming to see you, visit you, pull up on you, hop up on you, or however that is. Because they want to... Come to smoother, calmer waters with the Six of Swords with you, okay? They see you as very soothing or relaxing, okay? Or they're just getting being guided to come towards you and walk away from something. Let's see what this Eight of, eight of Cups is. What are they walking away from, Spirit, with this Eight of Cups, please? For the collective, what are they walking away from? What is their person or the collective walking away from? A King of Swords, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yeah. So this is you guys. 
energy and this three of wands so as though you're holding yourself back from making an impulsive move to start over with this king of swords gemini leave with crazy energy okay because you guys have already went to peaceful waters okay by walking away with the eight of cups because you walked away from this person okay an air sign Care about the lovers, Gemini energy for the collective. Ace of Swords. So this person wants to come give you some clarity and truth. So that's why, um, so this person could also could be stopping themselves and holding themselves back from, um, restraining. I meant from bringing in this truth and clarity towards you, okay? But it's like, this, I heard now or never. So this person is like, it's either now or never is what I'm getting. But this person is probably fearful or, or or gonna feel very uh, foolish or ashamed of their so if they do come towards you and you still walk off from them with the eight of cups give me more for the leather spirit yeah four swan this person been losing sleep about coming in giving you clarity and truth this person been like Like, it's been mentally draining and exhausting on this person. So, it's like this person may needed to may needed to do some meditation or this person been in very long contemplation, okay? Because they know they got to give you some type of clarity and truth with the Ace of Fools. But this person here is losing sleep about doing so, okay? Because it's like it's a now or never thing. I heard Spirit say now or never, okay? So, give me more for the lovers, Spirit, please. Yeah, the moon card. Yeah, this person has a lot of secrets that needs to be revealed to you with this Ace of Swords energy. Okay. And this person knows once they tell you this truth, like, just um, let this person open up to you and speak and tell whatever truth it is that they need to tell you. Okay. Be open. It's what I'm hearing Spirit say. Try not to, like, judge this person for whatever secrets they have to tell you because they got to reveal some secrets to you. They could be very fearful and intimidated with the nine. Yeah, they intimidated them. You intimidate them. Look, the nine of wands and the empress. You intimidate this person. Like, you make this person nervous because they know they betrayed you. Ten of swords. Yeah, and it's someone from your past. And they want to work with you through a penalty. They want, look, 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 I can't make this shit up, but it's the death card, Scorpio energy. Look, the page of cuts, though. We had the ten of swords. This person know that they backstabbed, betrayed you, okay? With whatever these secrets is that this person going to reveal. But we're going to see what the moon card is in a second, you guys. This person is very intimidated and fearful of you. Like, you make this person anxious. You make this person nervous. Okay, you probably make this person choke up with their words when they think about something to say to you or how they should say it. Because, remind you, it's a lot of swords out here, so this person is definitely going through some mental some mental anguish, okay, on how they can come to you and reveal this truth that they've been holding to themselves for quite some time. That's that full pinnacle energy, okay? So it's like the more that this person stay closed off from you and hold whatever the secrets is that they have to tell you is they feel like they're hanging their self more okay it's like they're hanging their self even longer than what it should be is what i'm getting okay this part of the actions or how they acted or what they did towards you was very impulsive like this person was like the type of person that um goes off an of impulse so whatever it is that comes to mind that's how they react that's how they move that's how they operate okay so this person was very foolish when they made certain moves that they know that was hindering them and that was uh um slowing them down and keeping them at a stagnant energy okay in order to move to common waters with the six of swords and because this person had you in the three of wands energy where you was waiting and prolonging the situation okay had you stuck and stagnant and uh uh and the hangman position it made you happen to be the fool on your own accord take that leap of faith walk away from this person okay with the eight of cups and it's this air sign okay because you had to it was like you had to put yourself first at this point or you was going to continue to still wait on this person and then um also <clears throat> after this ten of swords is the six of cups 
It's definitely someone that you had a past life connection with or relationship. It could be a past life soulmate with the lovers, okay? This person, you and this person could have kids or this person wants kids with you, okay? So you could be the child, the mother to this person's children or child. Take it where it resonates. Okay, this person is definitely losing sleep over you is what I'm getting with the four swords. They could also be having some form of nightmares, okay, about you or they just having a lot of dreams about you, okay? But it's like you intimidate this person. Like you make this person real nervous. Then we have the three of pentacles. This person wants to collaborate with you, okay? So this person wants to reopen or restart this um, contract that y'all had together with this three of pentacles. Page of Cups, this person is going to reach out to you with the Page of Cups in some form of communication. Okay, this person might start off flirting with you. And who is it? We got the Emperor, okay? The Divine Master. All right? Okay, so hmm. But you definitely ended in the Death Call Scorpio energy, okay? What's the moon card, Spirit? Clarify the moon card. Clarify the moon card. So this could have been this could have been something dealing with work. Okay, this person could have had work affairs, secret work affairs, is what I'm getting. Yeah, three, four, ten of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So this person is very stable. Okay. Okay, so take this message where it resonates because we do have homewrecker, we have shady, and we do have cheater, and someone is letting go. So either you found out that this person was having a work affair with somebody that you know, or this person is finding out that somebody that they was with, that they chose over you, was having a work affair. And this person know that they, they, they like, this person is going to come towards you and have this communication with the Ace of Swords and tell you or talk to you or whatever the case may be. But it's like the reaction that they're going to get from you. It's, they, they don't, it's like some fear of intimidation. Like Because this person got betrayed is what I'm getting with the Ten of Swords. Because the King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords came out. So it's this masculine that's hurt. It's this masculine that's brokenhearted with the Three of Swords. Okay? And that's this masculine energy. That's this emperor out here that want to have a page of cups. Com uh, have offer you the page of cups communication. If this person was having a work affair with somebody, whether it was somebody that they was dealing with that they put uh, above you, before you, or it could be this person did this to you. Okay, take it where it resonates. But it definitely was a work affair going on. That's the secret. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Look, the tower. Don't say it. And judgment. Three of Cups. So this person is regretful for having a third party or putting you in a third party, okay? Making you an option with the Seven of Cups. Four of Cups because this person wanted to feel as though that they can have anything that they want with the Four of Cups. Like, this person rejected your offer just to keep you as an option. Five of Cups, and they regret that. Three of Cups, because they chose other people over you. Judgment at the tower. Okay. <clears throat> but this person definitely was having a work of fear. What's this Ace of Swords for? Clarify the Ace of Swords. Seven of Cups, yeah. This person has to tell you that they had other lovers, they had other options, other work affairs with other people, okay, and it's now weighing on them, dawning on them, yeah, Ace of Cups, what's this Ace of Cups for, what's the Ace of Cups, what's the Ace of Cups? We got the Wheel of Fortune. Give me more on this. 
on the wheel of fortune. Destined to happen, new beginnings. Ace of Wands, the Will of Fortune, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so y'all have new things that are fading and destined to happen for y'all. I'm gonna put that over there. Because I'm gonna come back to that. So maybe this Emperor, this masculine or whatever, they want a new beginning with you, okay? They hoping that y'all can close out whatever cycle this is. Okay? This person is hoping that y'all make amends or y'all get back on good terms. Okay, because they want a new passionate beginning with you, Ace of Wands. Okay, so they hoping that y'all, when this person come and communicate with you about these work love affairs that they had, that you'll be able to understand them, you'll be able to forgive them, and y'all will be able to move forward to this new passionate beginning, Ace of Cups, Will of Fortune, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, this person feel like that it's destined and faded for y'all to start over or be together again. Give me the strength card, for, clarify the strength card. Yeah, two of pentacles, okay? So this person is definitely restraining it, so they're resisting, okay, making this change, that death card that came out, that transformation. This person is definitely um, trying to control themselves right now because they are still juggling. Give me more on this strength card. What are they juggling? Oh, the magician. Give me more on the magician. So it could be another air sign that they're juggling, the Gemini. Yeah, ten of wands. I can't get this. Hmm. So I just a Leo or Gemini that's juggling. Okay, they're they're trying to like make up their mind. They're a little bit back and forth. Okay, about what it is that they should do, how they should move, or what is it that they want is what I'm getting. Okay, and it's causing a lot of stress and burdens on them with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, the World card at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, Judgment. So someone is going to communicate with you. Okay, it's going to be fast forward communication. Okay, because this person is watching you. From a distance. It could be on a platform with the six of wands if you got judgment. This person sees you as the ten of cups and the four of wands. Okay? So this person, you emotionally fulfill this person. So that's why this person wants to be in union with you, four of wands. Give me more on the strength card, spirit. What's the strength card? What's the ten of wands? Clarify the ten of wands, please. Judgment, okay. So all the baggage, burdens, and pressure that this person is going through, okay, they're calling judgment on it. Like this person is tired of going through this. We have come over, so someone definitely wants to come over, or they want you to come over. There's the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. So we got the King to the Queen of Pentacles. With the Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This person sees you as very stable and grounded, okay? This person also wants a long-term commitment or relationship with you, okay? So they, long, they see long-lasting commitment with you, okay? But they probably still feel trapped. Davis Forbes. Could be this um, Aries Leo Sagittarius, okay? So we got a Queen of Swords to the King of Wands, Eight of Swords. So it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that's in a dispute or an argument, okay? That's why they're bumping heads is out here, okay? And this person is in a lot of mental, like, in a mental prison. So that's why this person is juggling, confused, two of cups in the seven, I mean, two of pentacles, excuse me, in the seven of cups. Like, this person is confused. And it's weighing heavy on this person. It's like this person is trying to manifest the out. <laughs> We got temperance. This person is trying to manifest their way out. Okay. This person is look, and then we got the two of cups. The seven of cups, nine of cups, queen of wands, the knight of cups. So this person is plat yeah. 
this person is planning to sneak away. They don't. I don't know how they're gonna do, but they sneaking away. Look, seven of swords and the chariot. This person is sneaking away. Their plot and plan is to come off of you, the Knight of Cups. Okay, they want to give you some romantic gesture. And who they giving it to? This Queen of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Like this person wants to invest in you. Okay, this person wants to give you time and energy. Okay, the time of day. Because you, you satisfy this person. Nine of Cups. You fulfill this person, you make them happy. Okay? Or well, this person makes you happy and you want to invest in this person. Okay? And it could lead to a relationship. If you do like the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, with this Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So this person is very attracted to you. Okay? And this person knows that y'all can build a foundation, something that's going to be worth it, worthwhile, because you're stable and grounded. Okay? Like you're secure in yourself. You guys could be saying, um, <laughs> wherever you are, if you're by the mountains or you're by a lot of like woods, forest, trees, you could be seeing bra rabbits. Okay. If you are by the mountains, you could be hearing wolves. Some of you guys might live by a lighthouse. Okay. The lighthouse by your home. Okay. If you stay close to a beach somewhere. Some of you guys could have just brought new plants. Okay, or you need to flower your, I mean, you need to water your plants, okay? And some of you guys could have a black cat. <clears throat> but yeah, this person is coming in to give you an offer, okay? Because they're very attracted to you with the Queen of Wands, okay? You are very confident in yourself. You definitely know what it is that you want, okay? You're very blessed, Nine of Cups. Okay, you're getting your wishes fulfilled. You get whatever it is that you desire with this nine of cups because you're investing in it with the seven of pentacles. Like you take time and invest in whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you want. And it could be this two of cups relationship. So maybe spirit is saying whatever it is that you want to invest in or whatever it is that you're desiring, work on it, work towards it, and go for it. Okay. Um, what's this ten of swords? Clarify the ten of swords. The eight of swords. Yeah, someone is definitely in a mental prison because of some betrayal that they found out or they just recently went through. Give me more on this tennis for the high priestess. So a secret was definitely illuminated or exposed to someone. What's the high priestess? Clarify the high priestess. Six of Pentacles, yeah. So someone was being breadcrumbed. Also, someone could have paid a practitioner, okay, to keep someone stuck and making the right decision for themselves or the right choices is what I'm getting. Y'all hear the sirens? It could be a queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, because she probably was riding this person way with the six of wands for clout, okay, because she wanted this person to be indecisive on, look. Ten of, it's coming out again. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, because this person wanted to come in and offer you something. Okay, whether it was something small, it was going to lead, it was going to grow. <clears throat> so it could have been another air sign that was dealing with an air sign, a fire sign, or we have an earth sign out here. Okay, that did magic or paid for magic a practitioner to keep this masculine stuck so they won't be able to move towards you they won't be able to come to you okay because it was going to grow eventually once this masculine came in with the page of pentacles okay this person would have put their foot in the door that's what this is the page of pentacles they see you as very attractive so it makes them want to give you this offer okay because they like how it's like you're their muse. They're inspired by you. They're amazed by you. Like you're very alluring. You pull this person in magnetically. And that's why the two of cups and the seven of pentacles with the queen of pentacles. And then we had the ten of pentacles. Okay? Because it was going to grow. It was going to it was going to be well invested. Okay? Whether this is a new person or an old person, y'all take it where it resonates. Then we had the two of swords. Okay? Yeah. 
wanted to keep this person, not seeing the truth, okay? Not knowing which direction to go, being at a crossroads, all because this person wanted to ride their way for attention, okay? And maybe this is your person that's doing this to you and you moved on to somebody else and they're trying to keep you at a crossroads because they want to ride your way because you're glowing up with the glow that part. So you guys put that energy where it fits, okay? Give me one spirit. Final outcome. I don't want this video to be long. Final outcome, spirit, please and thank you. What's the final outcome the collective can? Oh, the devil. Yeah, three of swords, the hair funk. <clears throat> Someone definitely could have ended a merch. A king of wands and a queen of cups, ten of cups, her five. What's the. I said in the, in the school. <laughs> her about the devil in the music. Two times came up. So we got the hermit in the four of wands. So, oh, okay, so what I'm getting is with the devil, the hermit, the full one, somebody home to be under investigation. Under investigation. What's the hermit? What's the hermit called? The ten of cups, the hair upon the three of Hmm. Let's see. What's the hermit card? The Knight of Pentacles. So someone could be watching your home, obsessively watching your home to see if this person is going to come to your home. What in the freak? Okay. Give me more of this page of Pentacles and the Hermit. I mean, Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit, please. Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit. The five of wands in reverse. Yeah, because this person is no longer giving into whatever they was arguing and fighting for. Like, this person is moving on. This person is moving from that. Clarify this four of wands. There's seven of wands. This person has to stand their ground. They have to defend themselves. Okay? Someone home is protected. <clears throat> Or well, someone could have sent negative energy towards your home with the hermit, the devil, and the four of wands. Okay, but it's... <clears throat> it's mm, I'm getting like the conflict or whatever they try to send to your home is returning. It's going back. Because the seven of wands came out, they clarified the four of wands. So your home or whatever these people try to send to you is, is, is like being blocked. Okay, so it definitely could have been some type of conflict. These people was trying to send or bring towards you, okay? Because a merge is broken up, it's over. Three is full of the hair part and the ten of cups, it's over. Whatever merge this is, your person is leaving from, or oh, this is you, okay? So, like, whatever negative energy somebody sent to someone home is blocked. Let's clarify this five and one, and reverse it. I'm out of here, you guys. What's the five of wands in reverse for Yeah, the five of pentacles. Okay? Yeah, four of cups because it was a missed opportunity. Because someone was being deceptive. Somebody could have de uh, deceived you and lied and said that they were single, nine of pentacles. Okay? And coming to find out this lie that they said about being single or Wanted to deal with you or date you or be with you, it caused you to be in the nine and four. Okay? So when you was worrying, you was having a lot of anxiety. So whoever this person was dealing with, they could have got mad at the fact that their person met you and wants to move on. So they sent negative energy towards the, your home or wherever you are. Okay? But it's being blocked with the four, with the uh, seven and one. Okay? And now these people are going to be left out it's like it's still a lose lose situation so 
So I hope this message resonates, you guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And hit that bell notification so you know when your girl is posting up. Peace.